Hey guys, my name is Tej and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick review and mini tutorial of the platform OpenSea. Please don't forget to hit the like, comment and subscribe to watch more of such videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the website of OpenSea. You can access it by going to OpenSea.io. And as per the website, it is the world's first and largest NFT marketplaces out there. You can discover, collect and sell extraordinary NFTs. So basically OpenSea started in 2017 as a market for CryptoKitties, but it has expanded right now and you can trade uh, multiple digital assets over here. So when you click the icon explore, you're gonna see all the NFT collections that you can uh, buy or sell in this platform. So so we have art, we have collectibles, we have domain names, music, photography, sports, trading cards, utility, virtual worlds as well. So essentially OpenSea is built on the Ethereum blockchain. So you should have an Ethereum wallet so that you can buy and sell NFT on OpenSea. And it also supports other blockchain including Matic and Claytine, uh, which we're going to talk about a little further towards the end of the video. When you click explore over here, you're going to come to this page which is going to show you all the NFT collections out there. So you're going to see See the trending one the top rated uh, collection so far the art collectibles and all of that so let's say if you are interested in a particular nft collections you have to click that and then you're going to see uh, the dashboard or the collection page of a particular nft so the first thing that you're going to see is the name of the collection and that is bar stool nft Next, you're going to see created by Barstool, meaning this guy is the owner of this NFT collection. Five items means that this owner has listed five items so far, as you can see over here. And then five owners means so far five people have probably bought and traded uh, the NFTs over here. 6.942k is the floor price and 61.8 is the volume of Ethereum that has been traded by this collection so far, which is pretty, pretty impressive. Over here, you're going to see a little description about what NFT is is how it works and all of that and when you scroll to the bottom you're going to see the different nft collections that you can take a look at and purchase and sell it um, if you also come to this little icon that says activity you're going to see all the transactions that have happened on this account so far so that's a beautiful thing about uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain everything's transparent so you can see who actually purchased a particular NFT and who actually bought a particular NFT, what price uh, was the NFT sold and all of that. Also, when you click explore and if you go to, let's say, if you're interested in the art NFT, you're just going to click that. And over here, you're going to see all the uh, trending collections in art, uh, different NFT collections. And then you can probably just take a look at one of them and browse around to see if there is anything that you like over here. We also have a little section over here known as filter. So basically, Basically, you can filter out the NFTs based on what you are looking for. So if you want to see uh, the NFT that already has offers, you can click over here and you can see that this guy already has offers. Uh, just a good way to see which one is already in demand. And you can also filter it out based on the price of the NFT that you are willing to pay. And also you can filter it out by the blockchain. So whether you want to go for Ethereum, Polygon, Clayton, you can do all of that over here in the filter section. When you come to stats, you're going to see the ranking. You so you're going to see the top NFTs in the past seven days or 24 hours. So this is just a good way to see how the price of a particular NFT has increased or decreased in the past several days. So the first one we have over here is the Adidas original into the metaverse. And so far, approximately 13,000 Ethereum has traded, which is a lot of money. And in 24 hours, the price of this NFTs have gone down by 15.95%. You're going to see the floor price over here and it has 20.5k owners so far. The second one that's trending right now is the crypto punks. Of course, that's one of the famous ones out there. And so far, 8,390 Ethereum has traded. The price has increased by 114.87% in the past 24 hours. Price has increased by 8.95% in the last seven days. So that's just a good way to see whichever like NFTs are trending. If you just want to decide that, hey, I want to invest in a particular NFT, but I also want to invest in the one that's popular, that's trending in the moment. So you can come to stats, take a look at all the uh, top NFTs in last seven days. You can also browse it over the last 30 days or you can take a look at it from all time. 
So now let's talk about different types of wallets that you can integrate with OpenSea. So there are various wallets that you can choose from. Um, the entire list is mentioned over here. Um, the one that is very popular is MetaMask and it is also the one that I'm using right now. So normally if you are a seller and you are listing your NFT for the first time with OpenSea, you do have to pay gas fee for the first time and after that you can list infinite number of um, listings on the OpenSea for free of cost but if you don't want to pay the gas fees OpenSea has introduced a polygon blockchain where you don't have to pay blockchain fees when making trades on OpenSea and creators can fully earn their way into crypto for the first time so I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in future videos and I'm going to show you how you can um, create your own NFT collection out there on a polygon blockchain without paying the gas fees so now I'm going to show you how you can purchase your own NFT on OpenSea I have already done a video where I show you you the entire process of listing your own nft on OpenSea as a seller and how to make a sale um, if you want to check out that video i'm going to link it in the description box below now i'm going to show you how you can purchase your own nft on OpenSea. so to do that first thing you need to do is connect with one of your wallets um, i use metamask because it's one of the most popular one out there you can use any of the wallet over here uh, whichever is like more suitable for you so let's say if you go for metamask you have to create an account with metamask once you create an account with metamask you're going to have your ethereum wallet and you need to have some ethereum coins um, in your metamask wallet so that you can use that to purchase uh, nfts on OpenSea. so to add ethereum to your metamask wallet you need to have another primary wallet so in my case i'm from canada so i use crypto.com so uh, what i do is i buy some ethereum on crypto.com um, uh, in exchange of my cash or fiat money and then you have to transfer the ethereum from your crypto.com or any other wallet into your metamask wallet and once your metamask wallet is funded with some ethereum you have to connect uh, OpenSea with the metamask so to do that all you have to do is go over here to the wallet section click metamask so assuming you already have created an account with metamask and you have already funded your metamask wallet with some ethereum this would be the next step so i'm just going to enter the password of my metamask wallet and i'm going to click unlock and over here you're going to see that my wallet has been integrated with OpenSea and you can see the balance that is reflected over here so i have 30 us dollars over here which is about 0.0 0074 so now that everything's connected i am fully ready to make a purchase of an nft so first i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to explore and go to all nfts or you can also search for a specific nft item which you know you want just search over here and then uh let's say i just want an nft where the max price i have to pay is 25 us dollars so i'm just gonna click apply So for instance, let's say we want to purchase this guy over here. So I'm going to click that. And over here, you're going to see that the price of this NFT is $16.41. So I can either purchase now or make an offer as well. When you scroll through the bottom, you're going to come to this page where you're going to see the item activity. So this is where, of course, you'll see what all has happened with this NFT. So it was minted three months ago and there was a sale from uh, the owner of this NFT to this guy. And then again uh, the transfer happened three months ago the same stuff so that's just a good way to see how many times a particular nft of your choice has been traded just to understand its popularity um, so let's say i am interested in purchasing this nft so i'm gonna click buy now or i can just make an offer to make an offer you have to enter the amount of we that you want to pay for this particular nft and you have to keep the offer uh, expiration date so you can either keep it as seven days three days a particular time when the offer expires and let's say if the owner really likes your offer and if he's happy with it he's going to prove it and the nft will be yours or you can just click buy now and over here you're going to see the item name the royalties you're going to pay so that means even if the nft that you purchase and you sell it in future to somebody else the owner would get 7.2 percent of the sale as his royalties and the total is 16.41 dollars and you have to click this box over here 
and agree to the terms of service and click confirm checkout and then you're going to come to this page which is going to show you the gas fees that is estimated so over here it's 91.43 dollars and the total that you are paying is 107.82 or 106.90 the gas fees keep changing so keep an eye on that uh, but that's essentially how uh, you would go about purchasing an nft and then you just have to click confirm and follow the next steps so overall i would like to conclude by saying that OpenSea is a great platform platform that offers vast variety of digital assets that you can trade and also the best part is that the platform has one of the lowest fees among all the nft exchanges out there and also it's a decentralized protocol that has never been hacked so that's amazing it ensures that this platform is completely secure so if you're a beginner who is just entering the nft marketplace and if you're just starting out i feel OpenSea is a great way uh, to step into the world of nfts because it's very easy to set up and also the fees are very low so it makes the process for especially for entry level sellers or even buyers very very easier um, so definitely worth checking out um, i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found it helpful uh, if you did please don't forget to hit the like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys in my next one if you do have any questions just leave them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you so much for watching and have a good day ahead